You know, I think I'm starting to get a sensory overload feeling here from all of the great things that are coming to PS Vita Homebrew. Wow, I can't believe I did that entire intro without using the Jackie Chan meme! Ooh. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe, and make sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section. Well guys, we got some pretty interesting things to talk about, some really, really big things. Trust me, the thumbnail and title don't lie, so let's get on with it. Now just real quickly here before I begin, uh, even though this technically counts as homebrew news and something I for some reason just keep forgetting to cover so I figured I'd start off with this first but just to wanted to tell you guys that Tales of Innocence or whatever it's called hey I can't read Japanese even though the cover is in English but it has finally been a hundred percent officially fan translated by fans yeah like I mentioned this happened actually about a month or so back but I I don't know why I kept forgetting to mention it and I love this series so much so call me a fan but I'm kind of embarrassed to call myself a fan because it took me so long to actually talk about it but yeah if you love action RPGs, Tales of Innocence is an excellent one to pick up, and now you'll be able to enjoy it in your native language. Uh, assuming your native language is English, which I would think it is because you're watching this video, and uh, let's just move on. So tell me something, have you been playing the heck out of Sakura Swim Club? Because if you haven't, you should be. Well, if you're a bit exhausted on that title, which if you are, you shouldn't be, but if you are, then you'll be overjoyed to know that there is more Sakura goodness on the way. This is Sakura Succubus. Hey, I play Darkstalkers, I know what's going on here. But yeah, Sakura Succubus, and there's technically, I think, like four plus of them available right now because of the whole Rempai port thing going on. But I'm just gonna bundle them into one segment because it'd be too exhausting to do otherwise. So if you're a visual novel fan and uh, into Telude, you'll be happy to know that you have more options to choose from now. I don't know who this character is, but I hope she wants me. And the plot to this game is short, sweet, and to the point. You play as some photographer, dude. <laughs> uh oh, I've seen some porno start out this way. Guess it's not surprising though considering the theme here and he hangs out in a bar with a bunch of sexy succubi featuring a cute idol a businesswoman a spacey social media star and according to the game there's just no shortage of women to this yeah that's pretty much all the plot you're gonna get in a game like this and we couldn't be happier about it now here is something that is a true labor of love, and not something I see very often when it comes to PS Vita, but there is an upcoming game that is going to be released exclusively on Steam, yet the developer of this title seems to be a very big PS Vita fan, so he decided to let the people in the homebrew community test out the demo before the Steam version. That's love if I've ever seen it. And the game in question is called I Will Be There, and it's a point and click survival adventure game that is currently in active development, as I mentioned, for the Steam slash PC. And I assume you play as some random guy that will be somewhere soon? And I will admit, I absolutely love the grainy photo visuals on this. Kinda reminds me of those old 90s PC games I played back in the day when, uh, dinosaurs roamed the earth. There's some pretty big dinosaurs back then. So if you like point and click adventures and want to get a little taste of what to expect from the official Steam version, check this one out. That dude looks pretty creepy. Huh, there's not quite enough of the color blue in this video. I think we should change that. Oh, and just FYI, that was a very terrible segue into the next game we're gonna talk about. Blue Bayou. Well, <laughs> they certainly got down the blue right. It's, uh very very blue so how is this for a concept for a game you play as some sort of weird crawfish looking thing yes you heard that right a crawfish a dream come true for some and the title plays like a cross between part boss rush and part crawdad simulator i never knew there even was a crawdad simulator well i guess there is now and players assume the role of a corn mud bug as they face down a slew of ruthless debt collectors in the louisiana bayou yeah this game is like borderline doing your taxes, but I guess in a good way? I don't know, never played a crawfish before, let alone one that's in debt, but I guess it's something that we're all gonna be experiencing soon. Okay, let's move on to something that's not quite so weird, and a game that I'm honestly shocked it took this long to port over to the PS Vita. This is Rise of Triad. I never know if I'm saying that name correctly or not, but this is an old 1990s FPS shooter, along with that good old 1990s vibe, but less creepy dude staring at you. Well, actually a lot of things in this game are pretty creepy, but they're not staring at you, you're staring at them. So you have to step into the shoes of HUNT, High Risk United Nations Task Force, <laughs> 
hunt for short, a not so clever play on word there, with 5 unique characters as you blast your way through over 20 levels of explosive single player action. And you're gonna come with your standard extra violent equipment such as flame walls, fire bombs, split missiles, drunk missiles, and of course, other missiles and missile missiles and say it with me folks the ps vita can always use more fps games hey want to take a hike back <laughs> that's what this game is called yep here we go with the creepy visual novels once again and you honestly wouldn't even think so with a name like that but here we are so hike back spelled as one word yet separate in the title screen for some weird reason is a short visual novel about trust self-sabotage and never-ending cycles you play as a driver passing through a mountain road late at night when you spot a hitchhiker flagging you down up ahead how you proceed from there determines not only the fate of you and the wide-eyed stranger you meet but your combined fates across multiple planes of existence. Wow, getting a little philosophical here now, aren't we, for just picking up a hitchhiker? Although, truth be told, I'd probably be doing the same thing, and also fearing for my life. In a cycle that seems to torment you infinitely, how long will it take for you to finally arrive at the threshold? Will you find the better ending you seek, or will you succumb to what fate has in store for you? Well, I gotta admit, as weird as this concept seems, it's got me pretty intrigued here. A little bit survival horror-y, I guess you could say. So I personally will be looking forward to having a pants waiting good time with this one. And now for the really, really big news here. Yo-Yo Loader is finally a thing on the PS Vita. No, it's not what you would first initially think, although I will admit that that thought did cross my mind. You see, Yo-Yo Loader is an emulator that launches Android APK files directly on the Vita. And this was brought to you in part by the man himself, Rin, AKA Batman to me. I don't know why he is, but he is. Now, why is this such a big deal? Because now that means that we might potentially be able to play every Game Maker Studio game ever made on the PS Vita someday. At least as far as the application for Android goes. It's still in its early stages at the moment, but Rin already has a list set up on his website showcasing what games will or will not be possible for this upcoming Game Maker Studio uh, uh, port, I guess you could say. And one of the biggest things that people are talking about at the moment, we'll finally have a halfway decent version of AM2R. You know, that another Metroid 2 remake? Not that the one for PS Vita was initially bad, but <laughs> it had a lot of bugs. But now with Yo-Yo Loader a thing, this should make it run much better. So yeah, wow. All I can say at this point is good things are a coming. But when are they ever not when it comes to the homebrew scene? Oh, and here's a pic of Zero Suit Samus because I know that's why we all clicked on this video. All right there, guys and gals, that will just about do it for another fun homebrew video for end of April. I've got to think of a better way to title these videos. But anyway, until I finally decide to title these videos better, which games excited you the most? Which ones did you know about? Which ones had you never heard of? Which ones do you want to give a try? That yo-yo loader is going to be a big game changer or a big game maker. <laughs> that was a bad one. If you get my drift. So please get a writing down below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video it really means a lot to me love you all and i'll see you next time this video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible so a big thank you goes out to rendy azadech mckees bob airkick 72 b mystery matt fox zakrito reiko star alan iwazu neo Rashi, shin snake Milk Sama, Bushin Ryu Cat, Miss Sugar 360, Gutter Drums, Phantom XRS, BMF, Hero Acer, Hemdal Imbert, Saul Ramirez, Clay Mimmerlarkey, Adam Sondi, Kyle Brooks, VG Legends, PS Vita S, JR, Jared Hado, Richard Cruz, Silica, Kevin Enright, Joseph Shavak, Per Sterner, Heston Joseph, Jelle, Wendy K, Adam Thurry, Crazy Cat, H Hitter, David Ray, Skullshire Tugel TCG, Rodrigo Vera, Michael O'Connor, Chris Foxhound, Franz Hartle, Hector Gonzalez, Buzz Saiyan, Aridri, Kayonko, Rizal Pliskin, No Good, Burrs and Mystery, 1488 Dental, Lacerated 87, Juan M. Hermesio, Azumara, Eric DeWitt, Nintendo Switch at 2am, Tasha Monty, Donut Valley, PSP Guru, 
Mazgas, Ricardo Martinez, Sabin Fire, Jamie, Matt Hargit, and Dr. Super Artie. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and gaining access to a number of perks, including having your name on the end screen of these videos, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Play Asia and Amazon for anyone who is interested in purchasing something from them. Basically, all you gotta do is simply use one of those links just to access their website, then anything you purchase afterwards, a small commission will go to help support this content. I also have channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. Okay, now once again, I have to ask, on a scale of 1 to 10, just how bad was that Game Maker Studios joke? I'm assuming that was even worse than my last one, right?